Welcome once again to Breakfast Central. About 178,000 holders of the Zimbabwean exemption permit, an immigration permit issued in 2010 to Zimbabweans who had migrated to South Africa, now have until the end of December this year to apply for other visas and waivers to continue working in the country. Many Zimbabweans, uh, some undocumented, are living in South Africa with a significant influx recorded following the 2008 political and economic upheaval in Zimbabwe that resulted in many fleeing to their southern African neighbor. Joining us this morning is Tiba She Mota. She's a senior reporter at Jacaranda FM in, uh, in Johannesburg, and she'll be giving us more insight on this this morning. Good morning, and thank you very much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. All right, talk to us about you know what's going on. Uh, do we have information about these numbers, and you know what's what's currently going on? Give us a clearer picture. I mean, as we all know, in 2008, when there was uh, a lot of political unrest in Zimbabwe, a certain number of Zimbabweans were granted some permits to uh, come and work in the country. So at then, that number stood at around 180,000. I mean, with certain people, it varies between 173,000 to 178. So we've just decided to just round that number up. But since then, um, the, the, the Minister of Home Affairs uh, Arun Mutualedi has decided that uh, as part of um, a bigger cabinet decision that they would they would no longer be extending those permits. So now you're finding that over 180,000 Zimbabweans permits hang in the balance and he has extended that uh, until the end of December. And I mean, we've had mixed reaction regarding that with some South Africans believing that the minister will continuously uh, be extending these uh, permits, but we don't know the exact um, number of Zimbabweans that are in the country currently. But then the figure stood at 178,000. So, I mean, so also share with us, you know, if there's also a, a large number of undocumented Zimbabweans in South Africa, mm -hmm. and how much of a burden this is placing on the um, South African economy or South African government itself? I mean, uh, a quick Google search says uh, we have between 1 million to 4 million undocumented Zimbabweans. And I think that's a very important to note to say that we cannot have this discussion without having it, uh, without having the issue of the porous borders. Uh, as we all know that the Bay Bridge border, which sort of divides South Africa and Zimbabwe is very porous. And a, a lot of media houses have done various exposés to, to just show the country just how easy it is to commute between the two countries. So uh, we don't even have the, the, the final number to say these are the number of uh, illegal Zimbabwean um, migrants in the country so i mean that number varies because i mean we all know that at times to just pinpoint and to say where these illegal people are residing becomes more difficult but i mean if institutions like set say had to come in and give us more insight just how much illegal people are in the country maybe from zimbabwe then i think we'd have a clear picture but right now a quick google search shows that this number could vary between 1 million to 4 million and it places quite a, a huge burden on the country's infrastructure, especially health, you know, social development and any other uh, sort of sectors in the country. All right. Um, the, the second part of that question would be the economic impact that these numbers have on the South African economy. Sometime mm -hmm. last year, we had shared, uh, talked about on the show as well, how the Limpopo NEC had uh, made a comment that went viral, talking about how the Zimbabweans needed to return to their country and have um, MSM Nangagwa take care of their health and not be some form of a burden because the resources were not even readily available to cater to the people of South Africa. So is that still a concern today? I mean, it is quite a, a huge concern. I mean, uh, both uh, the fact that the minister uttered this and uh, sort of uh, what is happening in the country. I mean, I want to quote uh, the South African, I mean, the Secretary General of the ruling party, Figile Mbalula, where he says that as soon as Zimbabwe sorts out its problems, then this uh, sort of burden will not uh, be felt within South Africa as well. So what he was just basically saying is that um, Zimbabwe's problems also become our problems. And I think just targeting those with permits is somehow of a low-hanging fruit. I mean, if we could... Um, you know, deal with the porous borders and deal with that border, especially Bay Bridge border for South Africa and sort of like guide it and um, and to say anybody that comes there 
comes in here legally, then I think it will definitely uh, lessen the sort of burden that we've seen on our healthcare facility. So to target and to say that those who have permits is really low hanging fruit when I think the biggest uh, target should be the border uh, between South Africa and Zimbabwe. And remember, at the height of COVID, uh, the minister or the, the minister of public um, public works uh, spent oh, a, a whopping uh, a, well, rather a significant amount of money just to build that fence. And that fence, I mean, if you could see it today, it, it's quite actually embarrassing to see it. So I think uh, the most important thing that the South African government needs to do is just to work on the porous borders. And when you deal with that, automatically, then you are dealing with the sort of like ripple effect that this has ha had on health infrastructure. All right. And, uh, you know, it might be a good time to also ask about the borders, you know, because it seems like this has been a repeated um, uh, challenge for maybe decades now, you know. Mm. Um, and so mm. is um, President Cyril Maposa or the South African government generally really concerned about what else might be coming through those borders, not just Zimbabweans now or undocumented Zimbabweans. So, mm. you know, is, is, the, is that a you know, huge concern? Should the South African borders be taken more seriously? And should um, the government understand, you know, what is at stake here? Oh, yes, definitely. I mean, um, as it stands with the South African Revenue Services, you are finding that illicit uh, cigarettes are just making their ways uh, through the borders, and these are undeclared. I mean, also that translates into uh, SARS not able to... Uh, collect that revenue and in turn not being able to disperse those funds for things like health, uh, things like education. I mean, both health and education take up the biggest um, the biggest uh, share of the budget in South Africa. So you are finding that, I mean, it's not just illegal migrants coming into the country for better opportunities or other things, but you are also finding that certain goods that could be declared to uh, SARS are not being detected and, I mean, um, you know, all declared to SARS, and that means that uh, South Africa as a whole is missing out on that sort of revenue. Wow. Well, that we certainly, of course, we will be having more conversations about this, and uh, also the impact that this might be having on the Zimbabwean economy. Zimbabwe has been struggling for the longest time, so we're seeing more and more of the people fleeing to South Africa. What would what impact would this have? Positive, negative? Also, are they able to remit more money? I think that's another angle to the conversation that we would have at a much later date. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me.